Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use zip files to upload multiple files to .NET Nuke at the same time, where normally you would have to upload files individually. So the process we're going to be using is we're going to go out and we're going to zip up a couple of files from our local computer, and we're going to upload those to .NET Nuke, and I'm just going to use the file manager within DNN. Now we're going to be using a .NET Nuke version of 5.6.2 website. So I'm going to go, I'm already logged in as an administrator. I'm going to go from the admin menu into the file manager. And from within the file manager, I'm just going to simply choose the upload option. Now, before we actually upload, I can go in and I can upload individual files. And if I go into a temp directory here, you can see I've got a number of images here. And I could choose just one particular image. I'm going to choose this small one here first. And I can upload it into a directory. Now I'll upload it to the portal root directory. So that file's been uploaded. If I want to upload another one, I could browse again and choose upload. But if I go back to the file manager, we'll see that image has been uploaded now. But let's say we want to take multiple files and upload multiple at the same time. And here's a collection of files. I'm going to take a couple of these files. Let's take four of them and right click on them and send to a compressed zip folder. So Windows will zip them up for me. And we can see the zip folder here. And I'm going to then upload that particular file or that folder. So if I go back to .NET Nuke, I'm going to go ahead and create an images folder. And I want to upload that zip file into that particular folder. So I'm going to choose upload. I'm going to browse. Instead of grabbing an individual image this time, I'm going to grab the zip file and I'm going to choose the decompress zip file options. I also have the images folder selected as the target location. I'm going to go ahead and choose upload file and the process of uploading that zip file will, will occur. Now because I'm uploading to a remote site, it'll take a few moments for that file to get uploaded and I'll pause the video while that process occurs. So once that process has occurred, we get a message here that tells us that zip file's been uploaded. Now if we go ahead and go back to the file manager, and we go into the images folder, we now see that there are four images in that folder, and there's the zip file as well. So we could remove the zip file if we wanted to, and we can now reference those images within the content on our website. So it's a great way to be able to upload multiple files into DNN without having to go through the process of uploading them individually, which is the normal process you would have to go through. Now in a future video, we're going to show you how you can use FTP to upload files remotely to your server and then get .NET Nuke to recognize those. Until then, I'd encourage you to check out the .NET Nuke training page found under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There we have a variety of free videos, as well as information about our instructor-led training and our custom on-site and online training offerings. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.